Okay, so this is the old Ford 300 4.9 liter inline six. This is uh, trying to figure out why it failed. So I purchased this vehicle used a couple years ago, did a compression check. They all ran about 155, 160. So two years later, the engine started crapping out. So trying to figure out what the deal with it. So I pulled it apart. The first three pistons are, they have broken rings. Uh, the top compression ring is broken on the first three and the back three, the compression rings are okay. And this is what the journal looks like. And this is pretty. This is pretty consistent with the, all of them. So all of them pretty much look like this. The, the rest of them are sitting down inside this bucket. And uh, so this is piston number one. The uh, connecting rod journal. And all these journals are going to look like that for the pistons. And it has a broken ring. Ring's broken. And the skirt. Skirt is scarred on this one. The skirt has scarring. There might be a tiny fracture. Okay, there. Okay, so piston number two it has the broken rings and it also has scarring. And it's cracked on one side. The skirting is cracked on one side. And by the looks of the wear, it's been cracked for quite a while. The other side of one. So might as well check both sides. Um, one side is worn more than the other, slightly on on one. Remember that one had the broken compression ring. So two cracked skirt, cracked broken compression ring. Crack is only on one side side that has the most wear it looks like. Okay number three it also has a broken compression ring and it also has a, a crack and it looks like the crack was a long time ago. And uh, it's only it was only cracked on one side but it's scarring on both sides. And the journals are pretty consistent. They're all coppered. Heavily coppered. Alright, let's move down to four. Four, the compression ring's okay. It's not cracked in half. Scarring on the piston. Journal's coppered. Piston and it's also four. a cracked skirt. The compression ring was okay, but the skirt is cracked and scarred. And the cracks look like it's been quite a while. Probably longer than I've owned it. And scarring on the other side, journals typical of the same, it's coppered. So five scars. Doesn't look like any crack yet on that side. Other side, more wear on one side than the other. Doesn't it looks like it might have a tiny Stress crack right here, pretty small. Six, compression ring was okay. Doesn't look like it's cracked. This side has more wear, it might be. 
No, looks like it's okay, so six is okay. So this is the camshaft bearing. This is the front. That would be the the bottom there. That would be the top. And they all pretty much look like that. They're all not silvered. And then the journals, the only journals that have uh, coppering is the uh, end ones, front and rear. The center journals are worn, but not coppered. A little bit of copper on that one. That one too. But they're not like, uh, they're not like the bottoms. And the cylinder walls. Ugh. Cylinders, walls, they have scarring. There's no sign of. No sign of honing. That's pretty typical with all of them. Yep. Alright. That's why it's gone. The uh, replacement junkyard motor for $625 is doing pretty good. That's it. Later, guys.